Hello and welcome everybody, I am Proud Bavarian and this is still Duke, Levi the Liberator of Nor Chashi. Chazzy? Oh, that's the, that's the, <laughs> that's the Deutsche Rai name. New Jazzy, that's like a really bad pronunciation of English but in German. I love it, absolutely lovely. Um, we could of course go on and declare some wars here. Now the question is just for what do you go, because they do have a holy war going on. And that holy war will end in a second. I'm just worried, who will get the land? Because I might just be able to like take Jersey Shore. It would make us so powerful, I would truly welcome it. I will also, by the way, go ahead and give away the city of Manhattan. There you go. Bronx is held by me, but not really. The revoke is tight, but I just don't want to. Uh, we need to wait, I think, here with a tight revocation. Other than that, we're doing fine. It is good tradition to have some gossips around a pregnant woman in order to keep her karma distracted. Right, we've done this before. Let's have some known faces around her. It's promoted to Mashpia in Chabad. Thank you. Right, this war's over. Now the question is, what happens with the land? Another daughter? Man, this is tough. The longer this goes on, the, the more I will be forced to actually change the succession law. I always imagined I would be first of us to go, but now I am the one mourning the departure of my dear friend. They are all dying. Who killed you? Oh, wait, why are you way down? What? He was down there? Oh, he was. How did I even meet him then? Hmm. You know, if anything, I will get depressed. I got fucking depressed. History is a subject that has always fascinated you, and you have spent the last few weeks studying the tales of the great generals of antiquity. There are many lessons to be learned from their legendary campaigns of conquest and heroism. I should devote more time, uh, devote more time to studying this. Maybe we will actually have to change the succession law. And I know this is not really realistic in terms of, you know, how the Jews and the Orthodox Jews in particular feel about women. But I don't know, dude. Looks likely. Looks very likely to actually be the thing that we have to do. And I think I'm going to move my capital to Manhattan. Why wouldn't I, right? Long term, we could even become the Duke of New York. Yeah, sure. You want me to donate to charity, you know what? Sure, my friend. There you go. I have donated. I also really want to celebrate Passover. Praise be Adonai, by the way. Don't know if you were aware. Since the death of my dear Israel, I've been debating matters of life and death with most, with my most trusted rabbis. While I refuse to accept their arguments at first, they've started to make sense as of late. Perhaps Israel is in a better place? Yeah. I mean, this is actually per This is actually the ideal character. My god. I've never played somebody this good, this perfect, this honorable, this just driven by, you know, I don't know. This, this dude is cool, I like him. Oh, and he actually kept this land for himself, huh? According to Chief Foreign Officer Lelis, the peasant of Manhattan have started... Manhattan? To have started a delightful tradition where the peasantry from several villages meet up and dance, feast, and pair up for future marriage. By promoting this tradition, Lelis believes that the county will develop a strong local culture that will attract more peasants. Okay. Let's do it. What? What is this? An embargo war. I will not have her educated by you. Not in this way. Sorry, mate. Please don't be too mad about me. The Westphalia Treaties. Rumors of trouble and rebellion are brewing in the Holy Columbian Confederacy. Colombian. A young monk has recently published a historical and religious text on a newly rediscovered ancient empire known as the Holy Roman Empire. Destroyed in the early days of ancient America, this monk was written about... What? The monk has written about a defining piece of their law, the Peace of Westphalia. Made to end wars between Catholics and Evangelicals in the Old World, this treaty put forth a law that stated whose realm his religion. The monk has compared this law to the ancient constitution and its declaration of freedom of religion, and declared that this right should be given to the vassals of the Confederacy. With the ideas of this treatise being spread throughout the Confederacy via its itinerant preachers, the ideas create serious questions about the moral authority of the Evangelical faith, and the Emperor is sure to act swiftly. A mob of bickering fools. So essentially the Thirty Years War is... kind of going into the correct direction here, or rather into the direction that I wanted to go. If they fall, even better for us. By the way, does anybody know what these Guide Stones refer to? Where even are they? So the Guide Stones are... in Athens. What are they? Like, what 
you know, realistically, what did they use there to get the stones as a, as a meme? Excellent. Stop fighting me. God damn it, dude. Get out of my way. We're just gonna go south with you. Manhattan becomes consumerist. God damn it, dude. I need to I need to level up here. If we don't level up in our society, we will not be able to actually do anything. And that will be worrisome. I would like to invite you to join me for a small gathering of friends to dine and drink and forget about the world outside for a little while. Please be prepared to reserve a few days. Isn't he... Who are you? Interesting. You know what? Unfortunately, I can't. No way, Jose. Mm. Why are you sieging me down? Can you can can you please take care of this? God damn it. Stuart Scott has spent many weeks spent over ancient tomes and scrolls in search of more information regarding the rumored artifact. Right. I will give you the scholars. Pregnancy has caused my wife to develop quite the unusual tastes. Most of what she asks for uh, for dinner nowadays ranges from mildly unsettling to positively revolting. Still, scholars do agree that a pregnant woman's cravings should always be accommodated. Hmm. She gets all she wants or more. It is gluttonous. I will not become your commander, sorry. Victoria What? The actual fuck? How did How did they do that? Wait, what? So this dude had the most participation, right? He is a one County count. How the fuck did he do it? I mean, he is being sieged down, and uh, she will lose this, but are you kidding me? God has granted Count Gaetan of Matawini victory in the crusade for Luzian. Luzian. Uh, Lisa Creo has been beaten at every turn through the war, and she has finally had to give up on her holdings in Luzian. Count Gaetan has... You know, these French words. Everything that matters is they won. I... Really? Dude, what the fuck? He's revoking my title. You dad bag. Wow. You know, I thought we had something good going here. But apparently we don't. If I write no, then, you know, he's gonna kill me. I mean, he is clearly... Wow. I I will repay her for this. My lord. I I will be back. I will kill you if necessary, frankly. Yachya ben Levi. Yachya? Is it Yachya? Uh, uh, let's take a look at different names. Joseph, Daniel. Uh, what about Ideon. Michael? Was it Michael? Probably. Harold. <laughs> Tevye. I wouldn't name him Tevye if Tevye hadn't been such a dirt bag. Tevye appears to be gone as well. What happened here? Inherited. He just passed away. Only at daughters. I guess that explains it. You know, he never did get the claim, did he? I'm gonna name him Tevye. In honor. Of my father-in-law and dude look I hate that he took this from me you want me to build a synagogue I don't have the money mate sorry about that the trade war ended I I can't scrape I can't describe how angry I am at you 10 out of 10 domain size are you kidding me I'm not gonna become your commander I hate this man hi chairman Andrew the prophet deserves nothing but spite um, by the way, I will be your guardian. I know I signed my wife, but I already gave you, you know, his, her father's name, so I think it's fine that Tevye will live in our memory here, but I'm, I'm mad. I'm legitimately very mad. I took Manhattan, you twat. Even now that the pregnancy is over, my wife's cravings for exotic foods haven't stopped. I think you have had enough, dear. Confront- okay, I'm gonna confront her here for sure. Uh, what are you going to be educated in religion? Yeah, that sounds nice. It seems my advice fell on deaf ears. Every day that passes by my, wi uh, by, my wife keeps stuffing herself like a goose. So much for moderation. You know, I'm telling you straight up. I was ready to know peace in our time. 
with the prophet and he undermined my everything everything i stand for he undermined it there's no way in hell that i'm not gonna absolutely crush him when i get the chance and believe you me i will get the chance what are you doing defending against the revolt not your revolt though oh, i can't declare war again oh because i don't hold manhattan that is absolutely i hate it i hate everything about it. i can't declare war against you because i don't border you i need this man to die and who are you why do you have that my steward scott has sought me out with his concerns regarding the search for the relic you know what sure you have shall your uh, you shall have your decree just bring me the relic daichem is kahanok vassalization war really goes into the mountains that's a uh, an issue for him I chairman Andrew is an infidel worshiping false idols and forsaking the word of Hashem what more is needed to disparage him infidels deserve no compassion I chief has challenged you to fight for glory the only respectable response would be to accept the challenge challenge fucking accept it I'm gonna beat the crap out of you you know I know look here's my opinion on it He's a kind man. He's a man that is very much laid back when it comes to forgiving sins and forgiving overstepping boundaries. But he took one of our holy sites, and I think that the zeal that Duke Levi has always had in his life and that he also now has in, you know, his actual thing, I think that all of that is leaving him with so much anger in his heart, he's gonna kill him in the duel. Unless, I mean, you know, by any off chance, he actually does kill us. But I think he's going to go against him and he's going to destroy him. And I do not believe that he shows mercy. you got to think about this. You can be as kind as you want. But he's a peasant leader. He went out there and destroyed his enemies. Because they were suppressing him. And he's clearly being persecuted now by High Chim and Andrew. We thought, we thought the consumerists were different. But they are not. Challenge accepted. I lost the duel. Pain is throbbing in my face, and I clench my jaw, trying not to cry. It is not over, I growl, but my opponent is lowering his weapon. The last rays of evening sun envelops him, and suddenly he looks like a warrior sent by the heavens themselves. themselves. In an attempt to say something about it, I pass out. Unbelievable. How did we lose? Sometimes, when I see my soldiers practicing their swordsmanship in the training grounds, the face of High Chairman Andrew flashes before my mind's eye. And I relieve the duel we f uh, relive the duel we fought. It sends my heart racing. I fail to defend my honor. Some days the shame is overwhelming. I will become a bitter rival of his, absolutely. Let me heal and we will get out there yet again. I will crush them. At least I hope I will. I can duel him once the, uh, the duel cooldown is gone. The good thing, so the thing that I see as a chance, at least I would describe it as a chance, is... That going into the mountains means so much attrition, but not just that, it also means a very unruly kind of people now living over here. The Rust cultists are surely not positive towards him. And look at his troops melting away. You know what? I'm going to resign from your stupid council, you dumbass. Absolutely. And I'm going to be there, Florel, for you as well. I'm going to come for all of you. And I, I, I sound way more venge vengeful than our character probably actually is, but I'm just telling you, man. They, he has it coming. I actually legitimately trusted him. After many months studying the campaigns of the ancient generals of antiquity, I have acquired many fascinating insights and gained new wisdom in military matters. You realize that the art of war might be well worth studying. I realize that, of course. Infidels deserve no compassion. Fight me. Challenge accepted. This time, I'm out to get you. <laughs> I am swinging my weapon wildly when suddenly High Chairman Andrew shrieks in pain. Dropping my axe, I'm stuck staring at the mess I have made. It seems I have managed to make his eyes bleed, possibly blinding him. It doesn't look like he's blinded. I've been waiting for this, you filthy snake. The Prophet has been slayed by us. We did it. Now High Chairman Emmanuel, I beg you for forgiveness if I don't take him seriously. You know, of course he still has so many troops, but 
Look at him. Wait, I can't educate. Oh, I, I'm already educating too many people. And I mean, he would not like to be educated by me, but I killed him. And you know what? You're not gonna like that, but I don't care. Look at this. I will become his steward, sure. I wish there was something to, like, become his actual, you know, regent. It just isn't. A bit disappointing. But we have taken revenge. And you know what I will do? I will crush you. I will claim Manhattan and I will utterly annihilate you, Director Eckert of Manhattan. This is my land. And I'm here to take it back. And this is just the start of our journey. To utterly annihilate those that oppose us. Of which there are many. Money has been disappearing from the coffers of my liege, High Chairman Emmanuel I. I suspect uh, Emmanuel. I suspect the, uh, the regent, managing director Adalfons. Adalfons? But there is no proof. Well, you want to figure it out. Look at him. He's already losing his troops. We destroyed the consumers. Let it be known. And my wife Zeitler is pregnant again. Please don't let it be a son. Victory in Harlem. Very, very nice. Despite the monthly sum of gold I've set aside for the artifact and investigation, Stuart Scott claims that he lacks the sufficient funds. Alright, take your money. I will not become your commander, you coward. I hated your father and I hate you too. Get him out of here. Manhattan will be mine yet again. What is this? A lot of wars going on here. And we have another son. That is worrying. I need to be able to change this. Wish I could go with uh, Primogenitor, which we obviously can't, but I wish we could really do. Well, we don't need to have any... I think we could just go with Elective, really. I think that's what we're going to do as well. Can't go with... Uh... Is it Majesty? Which one was it? Pardon me. Uh, late Feudal Administration. Meaning that I would have to take a look at you. Right over here. Legalism level 3. I mean, we're not even close. I think... Uh, quite difficult to make a decision here. What do you want? Embargo war. Sure, you know what? I gotta stick together with the Anabaptists if my other choice is this dude. Alright, Manhattan is back. So far, so good. I'm not at peace yet. What, what are these wars about? Hudsonian died to the Jura War over Shohari. Oh, our liege might get pummeled here, depending on the circumstances. And um, what I would like to do is potentially, no, nope, potentially beat you up. Manhattan. I mean, we're technically already at war, I guess, but maybe I can just walk over here, and I think I totally can. We'd go for a border dispute here. Makes us lose some piety and some wealth, but I think we can deal with it. I think that's what we're gonna do. You know, we might look content, but I do not feel content. If this is what it feels like to be content, then I don't want to be content. Let's go for it. Absolutely. Peasants have ridden, uh, ugh, risen up in Katinen, led by... What is this? Defending against Cutskill. Ah. Led by a disgruntled former soldier, the rebels have the nerve to demand independence. I mean, our liege lord should be able to deal with this, right? Many years of my life have been spent dedicated to the Shabbat, performing missions and tasks in the interest of the Order and its rabbi. Today, all that effort has been rewarded, as I have become the new rabbi. My fellows, uh, fellows now look to me for leadership and guidance. We have done it. Ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. And you know what that means. I will convert you. How do I do that? Thought it gave me the power to convert a county. How would I go about that, huh? Mm. Are you already Yiddish? You're Gothamite. Are you consumerist, I mean? Oh, to Yiddish. Wait a minute, to Yiddish? So it's not the religion? Oh, it's the culture. Oh, if the if it's already Jewish, only then. Do we have a better one we do? Binyamin. Binyamin. You're gonna proselytize over here. And leadership and guidance I shall provide. 
Alright, let's head in over there. Let's take him out. We can easily do it. I believe in ourselves. The Order of St. Expedi. Voodoo Faithful. Alright, man. They're really getting active down there in the south. The crown of Judah, followed by one of his men who carefully carries an ornate crowd, Scott returns from his long search. With a broad smile, he gives a sign for the man to hand you the crown. What you hold in your hands, my lord, is what I have determined to be the actual crown once worn by Solomon himself. Running your fingers over the engraved surface, uh, engraved surface, you can see how great the craftsmanship truly is. To wear this crown would undoubtedly instill respect in even the most insolent of visitors. I highly doubt it would work on Scott if you made him leave without a reward, though. I will ensure he's richly compensated. I mean, he kind of deserves it, right? You know what? Everybody shall hear of your exploits. Found medium artifact. <laughs> the literal crown. Ah, oh, I can't wear it. What, what do I need to have? Is Emperor of Caribbean Empire? I think I'm gonna edit that. Like, I'm gonna edit that away to not be king. I'm, I think... No, this is nonsense. So, like, I get it, you know. As you can see here, they are inspired by uh, some sort of influence here. Rastafarian, you know, Ethiopia-related, which means that they are, you know, it's, it's all going on down there. They, they have a lot of uh, Judaism depictions, at the very least. But I think I'm gonna edit this so that it requires you to just be a king. I'm not gonna wear it right now. Obviously not, it is quality 4. Uh, but I am going to go ahead and going to make the requirements, I'm going to change them to is a king and rank is king. Because then, you know, once we found our own kingdom, we are finally kind of worthy of the crown. Until then, I shall not touch it as it would be blasphemy to wear the same crown as Solomon without being in the same position as Solomon. Excuse you, could you get out of here? How dare you? First of all, who are you, Connecticut? Well, that is my war, so I shall fight you. And I shall utterly destroy you. I will not become a commander, thank you very much. I have cramps, no! She is helping me, that's a good thing. We lost the cramps, I appreciate it. So, we are losing the war. I mean, not we, but, you know, the war against Hudsonia is being lost, and Hudsonia is huge. That is, they are primogenitor as well, which is beneficial for them. That is very threatening, though. I am actually threatened by this. Cavalry leader, I appreciate it a great deal. The crown of Solomon. That is super cool. Can you stop sieging my shit down, please? I mean, they're not coming from my land, but even then, could you just, like, stop? I would really appreciate it, my man. Alright, you. Uh, why don't you be educated in faith as well? Alright, let's take it all down. I have received a letter from my fellow member of Chabad, Yahya. Dear brother Le Levi, Ch oh, it's Chabad? Is it Chabad? Will you, as a Jewish scholar you are, please offer me some advice on my poetry? Right, comforting aspects is always the comforting aspects of the faith. I mean, let's not kid ourselves. I think the Chabad will like this, and he will say, hey, that's cool, and I will say, yeah. Crusader Kings, the actual Pope is now doing something in New Rome. The very heartlands of Western Christianity are under siege by infidels, and there is one more era of crusades. Dude, I'm telling you, we're doing this. In maybe like one or two episodes, we might become independent, and then we are walking towards greatness. But I'm telling you as well, the consumerist... Man, as much as I hate them, they are giving us protection. I don't know how we're going to deal with it afterwards. If we take over new... What is this called? Ney Yarek? He... Declared himself king of this? Oh my god, dude. Hmm. Are you worrying? Uh, are you working? As you are working, court physician Zizel uh, burst into your study. My duke, you have been uh, up all night again. It would be in your best interest to not work so hard. I will not lose the diligent trait. The realm never rests, so neither shall I. Look at this silly kid. can't kill him. That's the main issue. Killed his father in an honorable duel. I don't think we're very deceitful. I don't think I would kill him without honor. You see, I think that's one of the major themes of this character so far. He does what he believes to be honorable. 
And we've just taken more land for ourselves. I appreciate it a great deal. I hate this so much, dude. And now we're suddenly winning again. Interesting. The embargo war is going okay. And then there's a war for Gribarik. Whoever that is, dude. Has to be over here, yeah. Yeah, I knew that this would be a big issue. This corridor here makes it very tough to actually control the area west of it. The uh, Appalachies are a very effective blockade. So I think our liege made a great, a grand mistake when he went over there and tried to do it. Now the way I see it as well, I, I feel like we should and could go against New York. Ah, but until then... I'm not gonna come to your... Get out of here. I don't give a shit about your feasts, buddy. Really don't. Stop sieging Newark down, could you do, could you do that favor for me? You. Are you being educated by me? Yes, of course, warfare then. Alright, we've taken Newark back, which means that I can actually dissolve these troops. Uh, if I understand it correctly, I cannot yet declare war to you because we are already at war, technically speaking. Can't go against Philadelphia, can't go against you again. Yes, I could try to go against them, but would I really want to? Man, I feel like we've made amazing progress this episode. We have killed where needed to be killed. We have gotten the crown of Solomon. I'm gonna change the requirements because otherwise we will literally never be able to use it. But with this crown, I will go ahead and once we crown ourselves the king of Gotham, or Noi... Noi Yarek, uh, we will go on to become the lord of the Jewish populace. Uh, we do now hold Manhattan and hopefully permanently. I do not see them resist us. Thanks for the special tithe, mate. Let's just have this war end fairly quickly, hopefully. I'm pleased to hear that after a period of peace, Mong more prosperous. I do appreciate it a great deal. Amram. Why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to me, huh? Could change the law. Would it be good choice, though? Don't really think so. Hmm. The oldest member of the dynasty inherits all titles. That, you know, the thing is, I feel like that is actually appropriate. Seniority, you know, going with a very patriarchal head of the family. I think seniority is a nice idea. The oldest child will greatly disapprove of this law, but all other members of the dynasty will approve. I think you want to pick it. I've never played with seniority, you know, at least not in recent time. I've played with elective monarchy all the time. Elective gave the kind as well. We're going to go with seniority. There you go. Agnatic se uh, seniority. Of course, Tevye still inherits it all. Oh, that's fine. Young Emma seems to be envious of everything and everyone. Yeah, become temperate instead, mate. First, I lost my eyebrows and eyelashes. Then my nose deformed. People fear me, and I must hide my face as to not cause hysteria among others. My face. A pretty face. Cecil has informed me that my recent ailment is in fact leprosy. I was very sorry, but there's nothing she can do. God punished us in this sick, sick way. I mean, we're practically dead. Health minus 1.5. I think our warfare days are over and we have to take care of our family. At least the days of personal warfare are over. During the last few days, my son Amram has been clutching at his stomach and made frequent visits to the privy. I have now been informed that he is suffering from dysentery. Call for my court physician immediately. Ah, Crusade for Chicagoland against whom? Ah, Indianapolis. In a grand announcement, the Pope declares a crusade for Chicagoland. The Christian lords gather from all across the world to bring Chicagoland into the fold of Christian kingdoms and out of infidel hands. That's a proud kingdom. The Chicagolander lands have long been under the rule of the barbaric heathen Tycoon Ralston of Indianapolis. It is only a matter of time before he will fall under the Christian onslaught. God will grant remission of sin to everyone partaking in this righteous war. Man, there's so much going on and, and I'm still extraordinarily happy how much we weakened the heir of the prophet. Now with that being said, we're still not independent. We are still under the yoke of our enemies. But I think we're going to get there. I, I think we're going to make it. 
If I go for this, I think I can get a claim on the actual kingdom, right? I would love a claim on the kingdom of York, uh, New York, that is. I will see you, however, in the next episode. We are under pressure from everywhere, but not for our immediate provinces, which is very nice. We have been strengthened, and while the god, the one god, Hashem, uh, Yahweh, Adonai, whatever, dude, uh, has struck us down with leprosy, he has given us a good life, a good family, and man, I, I mean, everything's kind of going wrong here with Amram as well. As long as Tevye survives, everything is fine. I will see you in the next episode. See you later, alligator.